HCP engaged Be Free and asked if we would like to participate in a project where they would help fund and support, technically and otherwise, a nursery to help us propagate this HCP designated heirloom cacao. So the projects at Be Free is one, the nursery project, trying to get the trees and trying to increase the yield within the nursery. The second project at Be Free is to try, once they're out of the nursery and into the growing area, we want to make sure that we can increase the yield and we can increase the preservation opportunities. We probably wouldn't have done it without them. Or if we had, it wouldn't have been as well planned and run without their support. Part of the farm at Be Free is not this wild criollo. Some of the farm are seeds we've brought in from other farms around Belize, so we have a mosaic of different types, and we collected seeds from those for our, our seed stock. The goal of the nursery is to help plan out the first in a series of stages of developing farms here. There are small areas within Be Free that are somewhat degraded due to probably farming that may have occurred decades and decades ago, or possibly storms, or even natural fire, we're not sure. But there's just little patches that we thought would be good areas that we could experiment with a reforestation project. So the nursery is providing the seedlings for our farm development. This year we have 7,500 trees that we're hoping to plant out in the coming months. Our goal is to have about 30,000 trees, about 100 acres of Criollo growing here. So our hope is to restore degraded areas of bee free small patches with Criollo as the primary understory tree, but we'll also be planting the whole variety of trees in order to grow that forest back. It's an experiment. This cacao industry is a big deal, $130 billion a year. I'm starting to learn a lot more about it, and I'm also thinking, we've got a variety of cacao that people want. I know it's rare. It's growing under the forest here naturally, under shade. There's wildlife all around. There's jaguars walking through. There's harp eagles flying around. There's 350 species of birds. Something sparked, and I was thinking, hmm, maybe this particular type of cacao would incentivize tropical forest restoration or conservation because it needs to grow in the canopy. It's its natural ecosystem, its natural habitat. Probably doesn't grow well in the sun. We're trying to investigate the potential to regenerate forest with cacao, in this particular, this shade-loving Criollo, as part of that restoration, as part of that agroforestry system, to provide economic and environmental benefits, and social benefits as well. Because if we can figure out how to develop this system, and if Criollo has strong economic potential, which we believe it probably does, then we can export that technology to local farmers, which will incentivize them to grow this variety of cacao and to regenerate forests in the, in the farming communities that are around here, particularly the buffer zones around these protected areas. That ultimately is part of our goal. So I'm hopeful for the future, I'm, I am. I think usually it takes things to go really down before they turn around and come back up. But I bet my grandchildren will probably be living in, in a better place.